Okay, so uh, in the last lesson we talked about how to set up the SynConnect diagnostic output, which we have running here. And you can see here there's exceptions and events coming through. Um, I'll talk about uh, those in a later lesson in greater detail, but uh, in this lesson we're going to talk about how to set up another th other things. Um, you'll notice up here I've got two menus, add-ons and tools. And here it should say, uh, you're probably used to it just saying flights, aircraft, world options, views, and help. And you might not be used to having the tools in the add-ons menu available. Now, there's an add-on which I previously had called FSU IPC, um, which uh, I still have, but uh, I've disabled it. And I want to disable, for whatever reason, uh, these other add-ons here. This is hypothetically speaking, of course. Um, I don't want to use Squawkbox, and I, I want to disable these tools in Flight Simulator. So th the way to do that is really, really simple, and it's just with the use of a file called dial.xml. And I have a copy of it here on my desktop. Let's have a look at the contents of it. Basically, it's just an XML file which outlines the locations of applications which are loaded at the same time that Flight Simulator is loaded. So when you when you click on Flight Simulator and it runs, it goes into the the uh, the DLL.xml file, which should be under your username, application data, Microsoft, and then Flight Simulator 10. There should be a DLL.xml file here, and this should be the same as the one I just opened. I'm just going to close this one. Uh, this is Notepad++, by the way. It's a free, uh, very quick uh, text editor with uh, language um, and so forth. It, it color codes things. It makes it a lot easier to read than uh, just plain ordinary Notepad. And if you don't know anything about XML files or HTML, the key thing to know is that everything's, everything is about tags. So here you've got the purple text. You got Descra, which is short for description, and um, or at least I presume it is. And uh, you got the same thing here, and they're enclosed with these greater than and lesser than symbols. And the the back one here has this backslash, or sorry, this forward slash, um, in front of it. These are called tags. Now, basically, there's just a, a predefined list of tags which our version of Flight Simulator looks for uh, when it starts up the file. Uh, so when it starts running and it finds this file and it looks through these tags and each tag um, basically has a bunch of attributes, they call them attributes um, which we can give to them or um, data that we can put between them and, and Flight Simulator interprets that. So here we have a collection of tags all together and they refer to the traffic toolbox and we can see it's not disabled so the disabled property is false and the manual load property is also false and here we have the path. So it's basically saying we have a tool, it's called the Traffic Toolbox, it's an add-on, it's not disabled, it automatically loads, and here's where to find it. And uh, all these, all these, um, all these add-ons that I'm using came with the deluxe version of Flight Simulator 10, and they're in the SDK folder, which is in here. Uh, I think I've should uh, get rid of this part of the text here because that's a double up and that's why my traffic toolbox didn't show up in uh, when I when I showed you um, when I when I showed you flight simulator so in in flight simulator you see here I had tools object placement tool and effects tool and here I have object placement tool and visual effects tool, but the traffic toolbox wasn't in in Flight Simulator. Well, that's because I had the path here incorrect. And uh, there's an example of this XML file in the software development kit under Core Utilities, which I'll just navigate to now quickly. And it's just an example file. See, Program Files, Microsoft Games, Flight Simulator X SDK, not not just a Simulator X. And we want the, the software development kit. 
under core utilities, simconnect SDK, and then config. We have an example of, of dll.xml here. And notice there's practically nothing here. It just says my path and add on and um, add on DLL. Basically, what this means is that it expects you to fill this out for yourself. And you can create your own if you need to just by copying this content and then pasting it in and so on and so forth. So if you write your own application, by all means, you can actually put the path for your application in here, whether it's a DLL or if, a net, if it's, you uh, wish to use an exe file, you just use exe.xml, same deal. You just put your add-on in the path and, and put that file in, the, in your username, application data, Microsoft Flight Simulator X. So I'm going to get around to that, that initial point that I really wanted to do at the very beginning of the lesson, which was I want to disable all of these. So it's just a matter of going to the disable property and putting it in. It's true. And see how I mentioned I had an application called FSUIPC, which stands for Flight Simulator Universal Interprocess Control. Basically, it's a way of uh, getting events and data from Flight Simulator into your own third party application that you might choose to produce. That's already disabled here under true. And I want to make all the all of these here true because I've got them set up, but I don't want to use them all at the same time. I don't I'll uh, pick and choose when I want to use them and I can come back and edit these this as I need to. It also makes it easier having this uh, disabled property rather than deleting the application entirely from the XML file, just making this true because otherwise it would take a while to fiddle around and get the path right. To type all that in can be a bit of a hassle. So it's just easier just to type in true and I'm going to be even lazier and just paste that into the next one. And voila. I'll save this. Desktop as well. Yes. So uh, I'll just double check that I saved the right the right one. I had a couple of a couple of copies of it there. So this is the one in application data. And everything's true. So that's good. Okay, so I'll close that down. And I'll uh, restart Flight Simulator. And the diagnostics window will close. So here you can see practically nothing loaded up in SimConnect. All I have here is the SimConnect. And I'll, uh, I'll just hit fly. Okay, so here we are in flight simulator again, sounds off. And uh, it just goes flight, aircraft, world, views, options and help. Uh, Add-ons and tools is no longer there, which is exactly what we wanted. And so uh, that tells you how to use the dll.xml file and how to turn on and off uh, uh, applications and tools. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll go over other t the tools that come in the software development kit. We'll just in another video, we'll show you how to add them. And uh, that's it for this video. It, it works, see? So uh, I hope to see you in another video. And uh, have fun coding.